was a sight for my soul. We're just gonna roll with it. Hey everybody, CR Media Gal here. <clears throat> CR Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. I have a bit of a different video for you today. I am going to be decluttering my wardrobe. Uh, this is something that I have been putting up for a long time. I know I've mentioned it in past videos. It's, it's, it's long overdue. We're talking like decades overdue. I did a major decoloring a couple years ago and I realized recently that that didn't even scratch the surface. I've been hanging on to things that either don't fit me anymore and are probably never going to fit me and I need to realize that. Or um, they're just really, really too worn and just need to be tossed. I've been watching a lot of YouTube decluttering videos lately and that's finally kind of like inspiring me to do this so I apologize for how I'm looking I just had a shower yeah we're gonna get started on my closet I'm not sure how much we'll get done today hopefully hopefully we'll get you know a good chunk of it done but uh, first I need some coffee I didn't sleep at all last night got up at 5 30 in the morning did a workout who am I yeah I've been up ever since so I'm hurting a little bit right now. I need some coffee before we get this done. One eternity later. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. I've had my coffee and I just threw on this robe to keep myself warm. I am wearing <laughs> my insulin pump too. So if you're seeing a bit of tubing hanging out from my robe, that's just what that is. But uh, yeah, I'm still in my PJs too. I figure I want to be comfy. Still not wearing any makeup. My hair's still drying, but we're going to work with it it's not about me it's about these clothes and giving them better homes so let me first start by switching you around and showing you what my closet currently looks like I'm gonna move this old purse of mine out of the way that I need to either donate or give to a better home but this is the current situation I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys all of this because I don't even wear a lot of these clothes. I probably wear one third of what is in my closet. I've been accumulating a couple new pieces, but most of the stuff is stuff that doesn't fit me. Oh yeah, and I've got random DVDs down there. <laughs> but I think we're gonna actually start off in this corner back here. Uh, it's kinda tough to see but I have a ton of kind of fancier dress wear back there that I haven't worn in probably at least 10 years. I just don't wear that stuff and a lot of it I think is in pretty good condition so I might be able to pass that stuff on. Then I have my nice shirts and some casual dresses, uh, some vests, coats, Back here is like my summer stuff, like my tank tops and casual shirts and casual dresses back there that never get worn and probably need to be tossed. And then I've got my cardigans, some blazers, and some more coats that I don't wear. I love that jean jacket, but that one's probably gonna have to go because it's way too tight on me. I've got, <laughs> I've got a lot of Penn State wear here that I will obviously keep. This is in such disarray, I apologize. Um, some more sweaters, because I live in sweaters. Some more sweaters up there. And then I've got like my uh, seasonal decor stuff that goes up in my room, and that's for different gifts that I buy throughout the year for family and friends, so I will not be showing that. But yeah, let's uh, get started. I think I'm gonna start from here on back. I did used to wear this a lot back in the day when I was in college. That's how old this is. I know I've said in past videos that I am losing weight too, but I just don't think this is gonna be something I can keep wearing. Look at that hanger. That's like falling apart. Some of these are dress pants. Some of these are just wide-legged, stretchy pants that I used to wear all the time up until I'd say like, probably two years ago, but I just have not been reaching for these anymore. And I know I have more than one in here, so maybe I will keep 
one of these and get rid of the other one. I'm thinking I might keep this one. I used to work for New York and Company back in the day when I was in college. And uh, so a lot of this stuff in New York and Company. So like, I think a lot of them are size mediums or size tens or eights. They're all probably gonna have to go. On second thought, I really kinda, no, get rid of it. Get rid of it, you're not gonna wear it. I'm trying to be ruthless about this. Like I said, this stuff is just not gonna fit me. So I'm feeling good about this so far, you guys. I'm going to speed this process up now and we'll get through the rest when it's back here. sure how well you're going to be able to see this. I wore this dress for my sister's wedding. You're size 12, so I could still fit in you. So guess what? I am keeping you. This little black number, I haven't worn it in years but I don't potentially have like just a casual black dress at the moment that I could wear. So I feel like this is another one I gotta try on and see if I can make it work. Potentially if I lose a little bit more weight. The only thing that I know I'm not gonna love is the sleeves. I hate sleeves that kind of cut off here on the arm slash shoulder because I, I'm very self-conscious about this area because I have bulkier arms. So I don't know, we'll try it on. This one might be going. All right, guys, I think I did really, really well. The only thing that I'm keeping from back here is this beautiful dress that I wore for my sister's wedding. And I may potentially be keeping three skirts, a pair of pants, and possibly this black dress. This is all gonna go. All right, majority of this stuff I know I'm going to be keeping because I wear pretty much all of this. But I'm still gonna do a quick look through and see if there's anything I might want to uh, pass on to somebody else. This I bought off of Amazon. I had seen this print on Zulily and I just kept putting off buying it. It's this beautiful like autumn vintage style skirt, but I found it much cheaper on Amazon, which should have been my first red flag. The actual material itself is very cheap. Um, and it barely fit when I bought it, but I'm hoping if I lose a little bit more weight that I will be able to wear this. This, I wish I could uh, give this away, but unfortunately, I wore it one time and I'm so mad. This is from Altered State. I wore it one time and the scene ripped. See, the Altered State that I went to isn't anywhere near where I actually live, so I couldn't return it. I've been hanging on to it in the hopes that maybe I could fix it, but you know, I've had this for probably close to three years now and I haven't fixed it, so I think it's time to just get rid of it. Okay, that is that basically done. I'm only getting rid of a couple things. I'm getting rid of that 
jacket because it's, I mean, that's no good to anybody. All of these I wear on a regular basis, so I will keep this stuff. But yeah, look at how much room I now have. That makes me very, very happy. Now, this corner here is something that I've been dreading. This is where I keep all of my jeans. I don't have a whole lot of them. And unfortunately, as I've gained a lot of weight over the years, I gravitate towards jeans less and less, so I barely wear them. I have like one pair that is actually on the ground that I wear. Um, and there's those black shorts there that I do wear in the summer. So I would definitely be keeping those, but a couple of these I bought like two years ago and I've like maybe worn them once. So I think it's time to get rid of a lot of these. So I think I'm going to start in the back here. Uh, a lot of this again is summer wear and there's a lot of like cute little summer dresses back there that do not fit me anymore and I need to get rid of. So we'll start in this corner and kind of work our way to the left. this last summer in a lookbook video for Hufflepuff. It's one of the few like goldish yellow dressy uh, tops that I own. However, I hate the sleeves. This really pretty ruffle design and then a ruffled collar. With my bulky arms, I just don't like to wear this. I don't think this looks good on me. I think this would look really pretty on somebody else though. I think it's time to give this away and let somebody else enjoy it. for so long. It like actually makes me angry. <laughs> wow, so there is all the space that I have made back here. I just put all of the pant hangers that I'm going to keep back here. Hopefully I won't be even filling them all up, but you know, you never know, so I'd rather keep some. Making good progress, guys. Making good progress. I'm going to start on the rest of, well, these are all the rest of the summer stuff that I'm keeping. There really isn't all that much. And then I'm going to get started on uh, my cardigans and my coats. I know the majority of my cardigans I am definitely going to be keeping. I live in cardigans. But there are a couple in here that have seen better days and are probably needing to get either chucked or given away to somebody else. So... Actually wore this in a Slytherin lookbook last spring but um, it's pretty tight and it's not something that I normally wear. Oh, I've probably worn it like two or three times so I think it's time for this one to go. Mustard yellow cardigan. I really like it. I love the little buttons on it. This is a New York and Company. It's very tight though and again I wore this for the Hufflepuff lookbook but it's very tight. I have tried it on. I know it does fit. I think I am going to hang on to this in case it looks better on me in a couple months time, so.
so <laughs> I cannot even step into my bedroom right now. So this is all the stuff that I'm chucking. I know it still looks like there's quite a lot here and there is, but this is all stuff that I do wear. And you know, all things considering, I have made a lot of room here now. So that's good. I do need to try all of this stuff on. These are all of my maybes and see if any more of those are going to go. I do need to do, I've got, more, believe it or not, I've got more stuff back here. I've got leggings and sweaters and turtlenecks, PJs <laughs> and stuff to go through. And then down here I have all of my scars and mittens and hats that I need to go through. I've got shoes underneath there and all of my sweaters. But I think we've made good progress so far and I think I'm going to stop here for now. Hello guys. So it is much later in the day. Light in here is not that good, but I'm trying on some of the pieces that were maybes. And surprisingly, I think this is one, this little casual black dress that I'm going to keep. Um, obviously I would wear it with some shapewear because I just don't like how, it, how you can see all my lumps and bumps. But, um, and surprisingly, the, the sleeve comes down a little bit um, longer than I initially thought it would. They're a little bit tight, but yeah, comment down below and let me know what you think of this one. I think this is one I'm going to keep because, again, I do not have a casual black dress in my wardrobe. And I feel like that is something that I should keep. Just a bur pretty burgundy skirt that I forgot I had, so I think... This is from New York and Company, and this is from probably a good 15 years ago, but it's in such good shape because I completely forgot I had it, so I haven't been wearing it. Um, this, I think I'm going to keep, but this, I think it is uh, time to get rid of. <laughs> okay, so this is that brown velvet top that I considered keeping, but um, obviously it is way too cropped for me. To begin with I'm not I'm not comfortable with showing off this area I'm just I'm just not that's not me um, but uh, also it is way too tight in the sleeves it's a very pretty top but um, this one I'm definitely gonna have to pass on and I'm pretty sure the majority of everything else that I'm gonna be trying on is gonna be donated because it's all just too tight or it doesn't fit me right, doesn't look good on me anymore, and it's time to move on. So, here are all the hangers that are now empty, and here are all well, actually, these are just some of the pant and skirt hangers. I threw out a couple of them because they were looking pretty just gross in general, so there are a couple more. So yeah, I think so far we're doing really good. And then, it may not look like much from here, but that is a really large bag there that I have already filled with a bunch of the items that I intend to give away. And then I have a whole nother piling on top of skirts and shirts and trousers and blazers and jackets and... Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but it really was quite a lot. So this was really, really productive. If you enjoy doing this declutter with me, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It supports my channel. Subscribe if you would like to see more from me. And perhaps if enough of you like this, I will consider doing a part two and showing you how I declutter the rest of my closet and other bits and bobs that I still gotta go through. But that is it for now. I will see you guys next time. Bye.